Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're down here again at our Songwriter Showcase studio. Hello. In beautiful downtown Carlsbad. What do you guys think of our studio? We have some new albums on the wall. We, we have, yeah, we have yeah, check this Black out. and Blue by the Rolling Stones because, you know, we have like Rolling Stone Never coming up, choice. right? August That's right, 31st. Yeah, sure coming up. But, um, but we're excited to be here. We, we've had a, a really busy summer, right? Incredibly um, busy. And Robert, my co conspirator, you know, has been very involved in a lot of these different productions, but we, we just had the two Laurel Canyon shows, right? That was so fun. Yeah. And uh, two separate shows. And, and uh, those were at the crowd. Brooks, and, and they both sold out well in advance. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then this past Thursday, we had uh, Tamane. Oh, yeah. The, the, California our, the famous, yeah, yeah, famous ukulele star oh. from Hawaii. It was her, her eighth visit uh, or eighth show with us. And that was at, at the Center Theater, like yeah. you were saying. With a stellar band. Um, yeah, stellar and Jimmy and Enrique open. Yeah. So then a lot of times people will say, well, what's next, right? What is next, It's Kenneth? like, oh, my gosh, what have we <laughs> created, right? It's like every it's, week we uh, look uh, at uh, on the uh, calendar, it's like, Oh, wait, this is happening. I know. Honestly, sometimes I feel like, you know, the easy part is even like booking the shows and and, mm -hmm. and putting together a music series. Yeah. I mean, some of this stuff might seem a little daunting, but I guess since we've done it so much, that's kind of the easy part. Then I realized that we have all these incredibly diverse shows. You know, we have everything yeah. from blues to jazz to soul to ukulele star to you know, Rolling Stones act to Laurel, you know, Laurel Canyon. That's right. uh, so it's really diverse, which is great because, again, we're always trying to bring all kinds of people together. And there might be some people who are really into, let's say, the ukulele, but they might not be into something else we're doing. So it's a, it's a, been a great way to. I know it was amazing when you saw that whole group of people that were into the ukulele and. <laughs> That I whole know. genre. I know, yeah. 400 people, I know. Yeah. So we're excited about that that upcoming partnership with the California Center of Performing Arts. And in next year, we're going to be doing probably at least four or five shows. Yeah, um, there's a big one coming up uh, on, what, February 5th? Well, we, we haven't announced it until you just spilled the beans, oh, Robert. Oh, boy. Um, but since you did. So on February 5th, we'll be having our Celestial Siren show. That's going to be a special line. That's going to be in the concert hall. That holds fifteen hundred people. A big big um, event, yeah. Big but before that, for us. it'd be better to actually if we didn't have to wait that long. Guess around what September seventh. September seventh. Yes, yes. We don't like to have people waiting around for no, great no. shows, right? No, have <laughs> so. your cake now and then have some cake later too. We're having the Celestial Sirens. That's one of our three main productions, the Six yes. Ring. We, we have our 27 Club show. We'll talk Correct. about that in a little bit. And then we have Piano Tastic, that, and we've had people like Brock Parsons, yes. Lady Gaga's Amazing. keyboardist, uh, Henry Herbert, one of the Absolutely. finest boogie woogie players in the world, Taryn Donis and that. But, but our cast for the Celestial Sirens on September 7th. We've got Rebecca uh, Jade. Rebecca Jade, oh man. For those who aren't super familiar uh, with her, if you're into local San Diego music, the one reason you might not be is that although she lives in San Diego, she's she so big, she's touring the world with people like, well, like Sheila E., mm -hmm. Dave Cause, and the smooth yeah. jazz world, Eric Darius. Yep. She just was accompanying Elton John at the Academy Awards as a background singer. Right, small stuff. You know. And then I was texting her on the 4th of July and she said, I got to go, Kenneth, because she was singing in front of the, the Capitol in Washington, D.C., in front of, I think, 750,000 people that were confirmed, by the way. So <laughs> anyway, small um, so she's available or was going to be available September 7th. So this is going to be the very first time Rebecca Jade has been in a Six String Society production. And that makes me incredibly happy. She'll also be joined by Taryn Donath. Well, one of my Taryn Donath, two-time San Diego Music Award winner, and she tours the world too. She just got back from That's right. Brazil, a month in Brazil. Yeah. So she's a star. And, and then of course we have Whitney Shea, a five-time San Diego Music Award winner, performer of the year. And Rebecca Jade has won actually performer of the year too in the past. That's, that's true. And Whitney's great band is gonna be in. So the idea of the Celestial Sirens, if, you, if you're not familiar, our six string shows, some of these, you know, we mix a little theater with music. And there's another person that's in this show, right? Really? That, that is beloved Let by me many. Let the roster. And, and uh, some people know him as, as Sir Robert Parker, which is my good friend right here. So that's a part of being a co-conspirator. Sometimes he finds his way into these shows, not just 
playing the keyboard yeah. and flute, sometimes bass. You actually have uh, an acting role. Why don't, why don't you tell everyone about oh, what my, you're going to be? My career as a thespian. No, I, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be so fun. We're going to actually go into our fantasy world and uh, we um, could do that, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we we make the rules. We do. Right? Well, I used to tease people about having a bed and breakfast or something like that, or an Airbnb, because oh. I knew a, a friend of mine actually uh, left his engineering job and started one. So this is kind of a dream come true, right? Yeah, so yeah. Kind of essentially, the story with the, the the show is that it's Robert's Airbnb that he's renting. So he's on site to give the keys to the person that's renting. It, which is only supposed to be one of the sirens, and then kind of what becomes we'll clear have, is that there's more than one yeah. or two people. Yeah, we're we're gonna have and, some uh, and they, some they issues on the lease. Yeah, <laughs> some some legal and <laughs> lease issues. So I think a part of uh, coaxing Robert into not canceling the agreement is they offer him uh, a chance to play some music in his own living room. And so these shows are fun, and and I know you've played with Whitney. Before. Yes, I have. So and, uh, there'll be, and, and I played bass with Taryn, In fact, oh yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, that was in in that was at the piano tastic. Piano tastic. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Robert had, had broke out his bass guitar. Yeah, first time in forty-seven years. Forty-seven years. I'm not sure if we right. want to tell everyone that, but but well, Robert's looking pretty darn old? good. If he hasn't picked up his bass <laughs> in forty-seven years, he has a lot of fans, and so it's great to have him in the shows. And the one thing we we touched on real quickly was our other production, the Twenty Seven Club show. Oh yeah, that's that's and just epic. I know, it's and so much fun. And Robert has been the narrator in that more recently. It's cool. We do this live narration. And so we have this opportunity. We've done the 27 Club, I think, like 20 times. It's been a lot, um, a lot of shows. And, and we yeah. started it seven years ago. And the first time we did it was at the Belly Up. And people loved it. And we just keep doing it. it. And, I loved it. When, and when in I, case yeah. your people aren't aware of, you know, you know who the 27 club is it's very uplifting it's yeah, all it's the a very people it's a really positive uh, <laughs> right? all the people that died when they were 27 something to um, aspire to or not but yeah. anyway but that includes the godfather of the group mm -hmm. uh robert johnson robert johnson and uh and he was a country blues player in the 20s and 30s mm -hmm. and he his music inspired the, oh, rolling, the stones, rolling stones muddy they, waters they and, out, and, yeah. and eric clapton and cream and so uh, Robin Hinkle plays that role, which is awesome. He does a wonderful job. And then we have Whitney Shea, and she's always been the Amy Winehouse character. And we have Lauren Lee, who does oh, Janis yeah, Joplin she, like no she other. Kills she's it. She uh, really incredible. Does. And we have a gentleman, Austin Pohl, and he does Kurt Cobain. He lives up in Los Angeles. So always great to have him on the show. And then uh, our Jimmy. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Jimmy, his name is Anthony Aquarius. Aquarius. And he's uh, a, a dear name. friend. I know, what a name, right? I know. And yeah. a, what a character. He lives in Ohio, so he's flying in to do it. So we are doing this presentation in front of the Western Arts Alliance, which in case you're wondering who, what that is, who they are, these are all the um, talent buyers for the different performing art centers and large theaters in the Western part of the country. Real exciting opportunity yeah. for us to and they have, um, take this further. Yeah. They have their annual convention, I guess, trade show convention, August 25th through the 20th in San Diego. Mm -hmm. That's one you know reason we're able to present it. So we're hoping that it's well received. We only get uh, 40 minutes, I believe. So essentially, each of the characters are going to get like five minutes. You know, yeah, we've got to um, pack in a lot of punch. Pack it then, in yeah. and hope for the best. So again, over the years, everyone has supported the show. We are looking to, to book the 27 Club for a public show later in the year. So definitely stay tuned for that. That. And again, if you haven't purchased your tickets yet for the Celestial Sirens, again, that's going to be on September 7th. We really encourage it. We know it's going to sell out. We're only doing one show at 8 p.m. Yeah. Um, and so ticket sales are going pretty darn good right now. So we're thinking we're going to probably sell that out in a couple of weeks. So as always, thank you for your support. You could always find more information at thesixstringsociety.com or follow us on what? Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook. Uh, we're even on oh, LinkedIn now, right? Yeah, I guess. And, and bands in town, so we're, we're going <laughs> big, places, right? So right. Yeah, so again, we always Watch appreciate place. everyone's support, and we hope to see you soon. Take good care. Bye.